Guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing really well. Hope you're having a lovely Sunday. Now let's get stuck into it. So look, the first thing I want to do today is I've got two projects that I've appraised that we've been holding in the community for a long time now. And I want to give you my honest assessment. So stick around for that. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the like, let's get onto it. So first of all, looking at the uh, total crypto uh, market cap here, we're, we're at 2.3 trillion, which means that right at the top here, the stochastic RSI has just crossed. So that's looking at a really, really long time frame. But if you start to look at the daily here, we're, on, we're still on a nice upward trend. So that's absolutely fine. Looking at other things here, it's interesting to see what the percentage uh uh, change of these cryptocurrencies is in the last 24 hours and it's really important to sometimes zoom out look at the big big gainers and you can see here bonk is up 43 percent you've got uh projects like velo core um boson protocol and many others so some of the big market caps are ridiculously uh have rec ridiculously bounced back as well which is very very encouraging but overall listen 15 percent what you really need to do is check the monthly performance right the monthly performance so core in the last month has done a 3x but if we look at the monthly performance overall you can actually start to see what's really struggling stuff like xcad here you've got some maiden coin which is a meme coin that a lot of people are holding Heroes of maybe are still under a massive discount, in my opinion. It's, uh, it's down 47% 40, for the month, mostly due to inflation. And then you've got things like Portal down at 70%. So when you start looking at Nakamoto games, still heavily, heavily discounted at this price, right? So only when you zoom out, you start to know what you're buying as opposed to what, you know, it's just people are telling you to buy. Um, in my opinion, this is a fantastic way to shop. And if you look at the overall uh, crypto heat map, you can see here BNB is just creeping up a little bit. But overall, it's just BTC dominance, um, you know, massively. Ethereum's actually m made a move against BTC today, but that's okay. Anyway, we're not here for that. We just I just wanted to give you a quick rundown. I really want to talk about some mic favorite gaming cryptocurrency to start off with this two pro uh two game uh, uh two product review video i want to talk about corpo because i'm starting to allocate more funds and i can actually clearly kind of understand where this is going right you have that sense of quality that sense of knack something is brewing here and i believe corpo world is a real underrated gem now luckily for the group we got in right after the launch um and we're very happy i mean it's never visited that price ever since again by the way if you want to become a member of our group we have a base tier that gets you everything for just nine dollars a month check out the links in the channel description here the video description anyway web3 gaming and leveraging the capabilities of unreal engine 5 so their main mission is to create an ecosystem that showcases triple a quality while integrating seamlessly into web3 landscape crypto embracing blockchain technology we aim to bring back the concept of digital ownership so digital economy and uh basically you know asset swapping esports gaming studio they're on multi-chain the token has great utility the tokenomics are not the worst uh in the world so i believe this is a sleeping giant giant in the making and it's gonna put a lot of gaming projects to uh uh to hold i'm actually thinking about allocating significant amount of capital into this on any dips and i've been buying this recent dip and that's my conviction now what are the recent developments so i really like um citizen conflict right it is a real quality quality game and i just want most people don't actually haven't seen it ever in action right and sometimes it's good to it's good to look outside the box and start to see what these things mean so have a look at this guys looks
they shouldn't be at this market cap. And just imagine the esports element to this. And you can see, you know, the amount of fanfare, like, for example, something like Godzilla gets. Um, but this is brilliant. So, look, without further ado, go and check out their games. They're absolutely fantastic. And I believe this can only go superbly bullish from here. Okay. Right? So, they've got several games. They, they are at the forefront of developing this Web3 space, in my opinion. And what I love about it is the, is the fact that this is really, really super low cap, uh, mar, uh, you know, low market cap gem. And uh, in terms of where we are right now, it says market cap is $32 million. I think this goes into a multiple billion dollar market cap, in my opinion. Right. So let's continue with the review. So, yes, they are developing. They are working really hard. They are doing things that you'd expect a team to do. Having said that, you always have to make sure that when you're buying these projects, you do further research, all right? Concerns and opportunities. I think I'd like to see a tier one listing. I think that's a must. Um, at the very least, you know, crypto.com normally is a sign that it's going to go to maybe the next level again, Binance and Coinbase. But I'm in no doubt they will do that. Gaming, sca uh, gaming landscape is quite competitive, even if that's a... Um, that's a concern. I believe quality shines. So Corpo is really quality. And you notice how I balance these concerns with the opportunities. Now, if it was all shit and the concerns outweigh the opportunities like shit tokenomics, bad vesting, VCs dumping on you, any of those elements and poor quality uh, project, any of these qualities, I wouldn't even invest into it in my opinion. So this is this is brilliant and i can see the opportunity here now um my price prediction for um for corpo is we will see at the very least at the very least we may see a minimum 25 to 30x from this point all right now I have done another video where I talk go into the tokenomics and the price in more detail, and perhaps I will uh, talk about this in my life. The next next project is the world's fastest blockchain, right? Tectum is the only network that uses what's called the proof of uh, utility consensus, which is super fast. I've been buying it on the up. I've been buying Tectum on the down. And I reckon this is, again, another sleeping giant. A hundred million dollars is, is absolute crime for this particular project. Right now, their soft node, I believe, is used over 150 countries globally. So these guys are going for adoption and they are going for... What, what I find strange is they are multiple different forms of a cryptocurrency. They're a layer one, layer two, scaling solution, BTC, L2, all kinds of stuff going on here, which I really, really love. I love these pickaxes. You know, I always talk about mint layer being an absolute pickaxe. This could be another one, right? And um, so this soft note is really accessible. If you go to their Twitter, you'll always see them updating the, you know, whatever country they're open next. And they're always hiring people. These are the things you want to look for in a cryptocurrency. These are the things you really, really want to look for. Hiring, that means they're hiring salespeople, they're hiring devs, they're hiring all kinds of people as opposed to these anonymous teams that just give you a stupid uh, page on either GitHub or, or just a random <laughs> PDF and they call it the white paper. No, 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 no. These guys are working really, really hard for their money. And uh, I really do like that about Tectum. And I think these developments, the fact that I go to their Twitter page and see consistent updates on what they're doing to the level, to the minuscule level where they're showing... They're looking for people to hire. How many cryptocurrencies do you know do that? So, look, <laughs> these videos are becoming a warning, in my opinion. You don't have to have exposure to this. If you've got another layer one, if you've got another conviction, that's fine. If you're looking for something that's low cap with a potential token that can top $1,000, then this, this could be one. Concerns are exactly the same here. post halving, you need to see a crypto.com, right? And um, despite being the fastest blockchain, 
uh, you know, dispute over the fastest uh, blockchain. Well, listen, you're always going to have people saying this, this or that. But I love the fact that it's it's great marketing. I haven't done a TPS uh, comparison globally on all blockchains. I mean, that's not feasible. But I think this, this is something they have first move advantage on. And I have no reason to disagree. So that concern is an opportunity from a marketing perspective. So you've got to see the good with the bad. And you've got to take the rough with the smooth. Um, and in the recent downtrend, of course, a lot of people were saying, man, this thing came from like $40, went all the way down. What is it doing down here? And is it going to go to $10? You never know. Listen, you never know. You've got to go through the um, the charts to really understand what's happening. But I can tell you right now, having been scooping this bad boy up, this thing refused to go under the $19. It went to $17, I believe. Quick, quick, go got licked up bought up mashed up at that level and then it just came back up so what are my price predictions so right now 22 dollars is the price as of today 4 million supply i believe the supply is even a lot higher but this is only maximum 10 million uh tokens or even less than that if i remember correctly i can see a 20x 400 dollar token in a bear case I can really see a six hundred dollar on a thirty x, and I can moon case if you know if we go to thirteen trillion in market cap, right? You got to be prepared for everything. I can see this going over a thousand dollars, but that's the absolute moon moon case. Now, what is this doing today? And right now, if I go to Tet, where are you? Let's go to Tectum. the total crypto market so let's go to tectum and i want to show you something here whether it's uh that's you know that's bouncing off these lows right so we need to really we really need to claim this level here really really just start to go above that 26 dollar level and are there opportunities for people to buy this right now well at the moment it's looking pretty bullish you're going to have to wait for an oversold and a market condition that can send this back. And then a good entry, even at $22. I've bought this at $30. I've bought this at $17. Doesn't really matter as long as you get yourself some decent exposure, um, which, is the, which is the most important thing. And if we look over this chart here uh, on TET, if we look at the Let's have a look at that yeah it's a strong buy right now you can actually see that the volume these these you know these white candles kind of indicate that a push is likely to happen that's why it's printing a buy signal from here so look overall corpo tectum at your peril now if you really want to push me and ask me to give you a pri price prediction for corpo I can see, I think I've already done that, but I can actually see a really good, in the, in the bullish scenario, let me just get my calculator because I haven't done that. Uh, where are we now? Zero points, let's say 75. I think we could actually see, uh, you know, a high 30s corpo price. You know, that would be 50x from here and uh 25 to 50 x is my projection but right now guys i would take advantage of this if these prices come back down i would definitely consider but the market is starting to stabilize so anyway look um i hope you enjoyed that content thank you for asking those questions and in my opinion just just be cautious um just buy dca accordingly all right all right guys I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.